In this video, we'll be talking about combined loading. In the introductory video, I provided a quick introduction to the topic, but now we'll be going into more detail regarding the equations we'll be using and the approach required to solve this type of problem. As I mentioned in the first video, in the previous units, we've evaluated the stresses produced from different types of loads separately. I've included the different type of internal loadings as well as the corresponding equations below. I won't be going over each equation in this video because at this point in the course you should know what the variables represent and how to apply the equations. While observing the table, you may notice that the axial forces and bending moments results in normal stresses, while shear forces and torsional moments results in shear stress. Now keep this in mind. The shear stress for the y and z component is also tau x. Tau x is simply acting on the cross section in the x direction to balance out the shear stress acting on the element. In this section, we will be dealing with structures that are subjected to several loads simultaneously. We will be determining the resultant stress through their principle of superposition. In other words, we will calculate the effect of each load separately and then we'll sum the stress of the same type algebraically to get the final answer. Now it's important to note that the principle can only be applied if the behavior of the system is linear elastic and if the geometry of the member doesn't change significantly when the loads are applied. Now this concludes the video regarding combined loading. I know this wasn't a very long video, but the purpose of this video was to summarize what we need and how to approach combined loading problems. In the following video, I'll be doing an example for this section.